If you haven't watched our video on what is core stability, I recommend you watch that first. I really discuss the difference between stability and strength, which is an important concept before trying to figure out what these deepest uh, levels of core muscles are. But in this video, I am going to talk about what are considered the deepest, and some would say the more important core stabilizing muscles, uh, and it's called the intrinsic core. So I've said before, a lot of people think, oh, core stability, core muscles, that means these front pretty muscles right here, these front stomach muscles. What I explain to a lot of my patients is we've got these front stomach muscles, two of them collectively on me right now, I'm touching the outside border of one and the uh, outside border of the other one. So this is two muscles and that's about the surface area that we have for those two muscles. Why don't we talk, the uh, first muscle I'll talk about on the intrinsic core is what's called the transverse abdominis muscle. It attaches from here and it attaches all the way around here into our low back muscles. That's one of the muscles. I have another one on the other side. This muscle is extremely important. It's one of the deepest layers of our core and it has a tensioning effect. It helps support these low back muscles here. When it's nice and taut, it's engaged properly as a stabilizer. It tenses and it helps to pull on these low back muscles and it, it assists them and gives them more support. It's also important, research has found, you know, every step that we take, if I reach for something, uh, these are the first muscles that engage to stabilize our pelvis, our platform. So for example, you might think, oh, if I'm gonna reach up for something, my first muscles that are going to engage are going to be somewhere in my arm or shoulder here. It's got to be, right? I mean, something up here is going to engage. The brain and the nervous system understand that, no, we have to have a stable platform first. This has to engage. It should engage first before we reach up and we try to grab anything. Uh, an exception to this are people with chronic or reoccurring low back pain. It seems that the delayed firing to these muscles, uh, or there is a delayed firing to those muscles in through here. That's one of the reasons why it's considered so important to choose the correct core stability exercises for people with chronic and reoccurring low back pain. Um, what are some other deep levels of core stability muscles? Well, in another video, I've already talked about how the diaphragm is a core stabilizing muscle. So if you haven't watched that yet, you could watch that. But we've got this diaphragm. When we breathe in, the diaphragm comes down, it engages, and it helps to pressurize our midsection. So that's considered a core muscle. We've got another muscle that sits inside our uh, pelvis area, the pelvic bowl. Um, and those are called the pelvic floor muscles. The diaphragm and the pelvic floor should be parallel with each other. I've talked in other videos, if the pelvis tilts forward or if we have rib flare, that they will not be parallel with each other. And it creates forces and pressures through our low back. So these muscles are very important uh, in through here. And then finally, the deepest layer of muscles in our low back, they are on the uh, very uh, deepest part of the spine. They're called the multifidus muscles. And those multifidus muscles, they act as stabilizers. They do not have too much of a role in moving our spine. They have much more of a role of locking it in place and stabilizing our spine. So I've done other videos before with what is core stability, where maybe I'm holding something in front of me and it's trying to pull me this way. And along with uh, our oblique stomach muscles in there, those multifidus muscles will engage and help protect the spine so it doesn't turn or torque uh, in through there. Uh, so those are the four deepest layers of core stability muscles. And some people would say those are the most important muscles to try to target if somebody has chronic or re reoccurring low back pain, uh, for, with those multifidus muscles that I had just talked about in through there, uh, over and over again, research continues to show people with chronic and reoccurring low back pain, those muscles are atrophied. They have fatty deposits in there. They don't have good strength and stability anymore. And so good physicians that are familiar with treating chronic and reoccurring low back pain, that is a muscle, these multifidus muscles, that they really want to engage, but you want to do it in a safe way. You want to choose exercises where you're not going to extend through your back too much, where you've got this nice contraction in your front stomach muscles and your back muscles pretty equally. Um, 
If you've got some uh, value out of this video, if you learned something, give us the thumbs up. Uh, encourage us to make more of these educational videos for you. Uh, and then, as always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave them below, and I would be more than happy to answer those questions for you.